Every day, discoveries are made that help us better understand the past, present, and future. So today, on Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three amazing discoveries. Mariana Trench, deepest ever subdive, finds a plastic bag. Researchers today are finding objects that expose mankind's far-reaching impact on the ecosystem, and one of these was recently made at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Victor Vescovo, a 53-year-old financier and former Navy Reserve captain, traveled approximately seven miles to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The dive, which surpassed a record set by Titanic filmmaker James Cameron in 2012, revealed sad proof of humanity's detrimental impact on the planet. The divers found plastic bags and wrappers at the ocean's deepest depths. Vescovo and his team identified four new species while traveling 35,853 feet below the surface, which could help throw light on Earth's enigmatic origins. Vescovo said the following, I believe that going to extremes is a natural propensity of man, and I also believe that wanting to push ourselves to our limits is a beautiful component of our nature, which has helped us get to where we are now as a species. Although oceanographers Don Walsh and Jacques Picard first investigated Challenger Deep in 1960, this is the first on-camera evidence of what lies beneath the Pacific. The goal of the project is to make sonar mapping of Earth's deepest locations, such as the Puerto Rico Trench in the Atlantic Ocean, the South Sandwich Trench in the South Atlantic, the Java Trench in the Indian Ocean, and the Malloy Deep in the Arctic Ocean. Vescovo continued with the following. I crisscrossed all over the bottom looking for various wildlife, perhaps unique geological formations or rocks, man-made artifacts, and yes, trying to see if there was an even deeper position than where the Bathyscaph Trieste went back in 1960. Giant prawn-like amphipods and bottom-feeding sea cucumbers were among the findings found aboard the limiting factor, the world's first titanium-hulled two-person submersible to go this deep. Also, the scientists want to examine the deep water critters for plastic buildup. While it is impossible to say how far those plastics drifted to end up in one of the world's lowest points, our oceans are quickly becoming giant trash cans. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, an island of garbage the size of Texas in the open ocean between Hawaii and California, continues to add more man-made waste to its expanding surface area. Despite all of those dives, humanity has only seen about 5% of the ocean. Scientists are being pushed to develop new deep-sea research methods as part of a new XPRIZE initiative. Astronomers see a star spaghettified by a black hole For the first time, material filaments wrapped around a supermassive black hole have been discovered indicating that a star trapped by the black hole's gravity has been destroyed by spaghettification. Scientists have only just discovered evidence of a physical filament from a star in the neighborhood of the black hole. A team of astronomers from the Netherlands Institute for Space Research, or ESRON, and Radboud University in the Netherlands discovered a spaghettified star around the poles of a distant black hole. This new study was published in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society on March 24th. The effect, also known as tidal disruption, occurs because the black hole's gravity pulls more on the side of the star that is closest to it. The black hole breaks the star apart before sucking in its mass and transforming it into a lengthy filament in the process. Previously, the only proof of a star dying after passing too close to a galaxy's center came in the form of short bursts of electromagnetic radiation emitted by supermassive black holes. Around the equators of black holes, accreted matter disks have been discovered. The disk orbits around the equator at an extremely high speed, emitting heat, X-rays and gamma rays in the process. It is made of material that is drawn to but not yet swallowed by the black hole. The Doppler effect stretches or shrinks electromagnetic waves depending on whether the source is moving towards or away from the observer and is created by the fast motion of the material in the accretion disk. As a result, the light radiated by moving away from the Earth component of the accretion disk would be brighter. The scientists, on the other hand, found no proof of this. 
The researchers also stated that they could detect X-rays, indicating that they were facing the black hole's pole. According to the statement, the accretion disk is the sole part of a black hole system that releases this type of radiation. We wouldn't see the accretion disk's X-rays if we were staring edge-on. Supermassive black holes, which are millions or even billions of times heavier than the Sun, are thought to exist at the center of most galaxies. Over billions of years, they expand and engulf everything that falls into their gravitational pull. The brilliant X-rays that black holes release as they feed on gas and matter from their surroundings allow astronomers to discover them. Stars orbiting in the center of galaxies may occasionally go too close to black holes and become trapped by their pull. They are drawn closer and closer to the black hole, eventually succumbing to spaghettification. Newly identified species of saber-toothed cat was so big it hunted rhinos in America. Scientists have identified a gigantic new saber-toothed cat species that would have prowled the wide regions of North America between 5 and 9 million years ago. Using comprehensive fossil comparison techniques, they've come to the conclusion that this would have been one of the largest cats ever discovered. According to this latest study, this new species has a body mass of around 274 kilograms. It is a prehistoric relative of the well-known Smilodon. To identify the new species, scientists investigated and compared fossil specimens, including upper limbs and teeth, with fossils gathered from museum collections in Oregon, Idaho, Texas, and California. One of the big stories of all of this is that we ended up uncovering specimen after specimen of this giant cat in museums across Western North America, says Gonzaga University paleontologist John. They were big cats. The age and size of the fossils provided an excellent starting point for researchers who then utilized digital photos and specialized software to uncover commonalities between the relics and, more importantly, differences from other cat species. The specimens all came from the same huge cat, and this cat was a previously unknown species. The teeth provided additional proof, although the researchers did say that the intricacies of how early saber-toothed cats were connected are fuzzy. The largest upper arm or humerus fossil discovered in the study was almost 1.4 times the size of the same bone in a modern-day lion. Rhinoceroses would have been plentiful at the time, and this new species of saber-toothed cat may have preyed on them, as well as camels and sloths, much larger than we are used to seeing in the modern day. While the iconic saber teeth have yet to be discovered, it is notable that this new species has been identified primarily from humerus bones, demonstrating what can be accomplished when cutting-edge analytical tools are combined with many hours of meticulous research. Researchers working on the project said the following, Giant cats have been known to exist in Europe, Asia, and Africa, and now we have our giant saber-toothed cat that lived in North America during this period. Either we have this ancient gigantic saber-toothed cat that scattered to all of those continents, or we have repeated separate evolution of this gigantic body size on every continent in what remains a relatively hyper-specialized mode of hunting. It's a fascinating paleontological puzzle. But what do you make of these three discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.